Hello, uh, my name is Timothy Dolan, and uh, I happen to have hold a PhD in public affairs and public policy. I have directed uh, graduate level management programs, uh, MPA programs, master in management programs for some 22 years. Uh, I am now, in essence, uh, retired from that field. Uh, I do keep my hand in, uh, in at the local level. But um, my discussion today happens to be an expression of disappointment with Lyft, uh, whom I've driven for. Uh, it is something that I don't need to do. Uh, however, it is a service that I think is valuable. And uh, I do enjoy driving. Uh, the interaction by and large is great. And my experience with Lyft has been generally quite good uh, while driving in California. Uh, they uh, were responsive and uh, generally a fairly good employer. However, I have moved to Oregon, and in the course of moving to Oregon, I uh, have changed my driver's license and my vehicle registration, the same vehicle that I used in California. However, for the last month, I've been getting continual warnings through the Lyft driver app, app that I needed to get my uh, California vehicle inspection done, which is by law, under California law, uh, vehicles need to be inspected for, uh, for registration purposes and, and for Lyft drivers. Um, I have, as I said, really 22, now 22 messages back and forth with Lyft driver support, trying to communicate with them, uh, make them understand that I am no longer in California. Thus, the idea of getting a California vehicle inspection is moot. Uh, it is now past that deadline that they had imposed for getting that inspection done, and I've been deactivated as a driver. Now, as I said, 22 messages, and I've been assured a couple, in a couple of them that they've resolved the issue. However, when I go to the Lyft Drivers app, what I get is, oops, your inspection was rejected. It's because the document that I had submitted, I don't think you can read that or not, but anyway, that's the warning that pops up. Uh, that does not allow me to activate as a driver. Um, the, um, the, for whatever reason, uh, Lyft has not been responsive uh, to this issue. Uh, the document that I uploaded uh, instead of a vehicle inspection was my Oregon registration. So yes, I suppose you would reject that. However, I'm in Oregon, so come on guys. Uh, let's get this straight. Uh, so I'm being asked also uh, to kind of rub salt in the wounds. Um, they went this far, uh, recognizing that I'm now in Oregon. They are requiring a Portland business license and uh, Portland training. Uh, that would be for the city of Portland. I'm in Ashland, Oregon. I'm just 14 miles over the California state line and 285 miles away from Portland. So the whole issue of uh, having to conform to a city of Portland uh, driving uh, requirement uh, does not make sense in, in the least. Um, and just one more layer of frustration, I'm working mightily to um, uh, work with the city of Ashland. In fact, I have an appointment with a second city council member that I've met on getting um, ride sharing um, available in Ashland, Oregon. It currently isn't. The rest of Jackson County, county in which um, Ashland is situated, does allow for ride sharing, and I have uh, performed my uh, duties as a Lyft driver until I was deactivated here, um, outside of Ashland, Oregon. And again, it was providing a valuable service to people that need it. Um, so I'm just appealing to Lyft uh, to get your act together. As I said, I've had 22 years at the graduate level teaching uh, management practice at all levels uh, across a broad range of uh, management issues and competencies. 
um, perhaps you could consider hiring me as a consultant because right now you've got problems. And I really, really think that any driver who's transferring to another state is going to suffer some um, frustrations as I am uh, getting Lyft to understand our situation. Thank you very much.